discuss the multidimensional implications of the uneven distribution of the mineral in the world. Then it is also a question that is a very uh, important or beautiful question indicating that UPSC is puzzling you. UPSC is taking several tests from you, examining you. Ki variety of the thinking are you able to uh, present, present here? Are you able to club several points here? Are you able to have the interdisciplinary approach? Uh, are you able to go beyond the kind of lines have been written here? Uh, can you link historical, political, economic and social aspects, uh, several aspects, multi-dimensional aspects and which multi-dimensional aspect we have here? The multi-dimensional aspects of uh, distribution of mineral oil in the world, uneven distribution, uneven distribution. Like Gondwana land, here it is mentioned first uneven distribution of mineral oil. So initially in introductory part, if Anyhow, in the map, you are able to show the mineral oil area. Okay, it is uneven. Marine fossil crude oil or mineral oil is uneven. Then what would be the, what had been the impact in the past is still having some influences here. So are you able to uh, mention these multidimensional aspects? Then I will say here that for example, in the map here, it is South America. It is the kind of North American map. You may do some practice of uh, simple, simple kind of map uh, without uh, uh, making very accurate thing. Then the Africa and then the South America, this uh, Gulf country is here, the Indian zone, then remaining the Arctic area and also the European area and here the Australia and some islands this side, Japan, Philippines, Taiwan and also several islands are there. But if I say crude oil, if I show in the entire world map and only few key locations are there. So unlike other mineral, it is very, very uneven. This marine fossil, one significant area is this area that we call the Persian Gulf. P for Persian, G for Gulf, PG Persian Gulf area. That is full of crude oil, of course, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Qatar, these kind of names are there. We know all these. One area is also recently that is making uh, lots of, uh, uh, you can say, the in the news as well, Arctic area that is uh, fastly uh, being explored for crude oil and natural gas, Arctic shelf that we call. Number of question on this area also in Arctic region we have seen, full of uh, crude oil as well, especially Russia, one country in that area major claim. But also in Arctic uh, ka jo yuala area, Alaska, because Earth is round in shape, Alaska will come very close to here as well, Alaska. Also, one more area in far flung area, Venezuela, Venezuela, one country in South America, also this Gulf of Mexico, also in Caspian Sea region, in Central Asia and Caspian Sea, CS Caspian Sea, PG Persian Gulf, also South China Sea. In case of India, it is Mumbai high, only this much. So in Africa, it is Nigeria, for example, or few places like that, mainly Nigeria. So what we are observing in last, in vast, uh, you can say size and around 200 countries, only few places having the sizable crude oil that is making the, uh, fulfilling the demand of the countries. Persian Gulf, Caspian Sea region, South China Sea region, Arctic Shelf, Alaska, Gulf of Mexico, Venezuela, Nigeria, etc. Even you remember Persian Gulf and Arctic Shelf, it is enough for your answer. And how can you proceed here? Question is not a single dimension, rather multi-dimension of the distribution. So initially distribution is necessary. So you may begin with that, that marine fossil, crude oil, is of course highly uneven in its distribution in some onshore and offshore region. Offshore means slightly away from the coast like Persian Gulf area may be offshore. Kuch onshore bhi hai, like in Assam etc or in land area, onshore offshore reserve 
and one diagram like map uh, persian gulf or arctic shelf you can show either you show only this part no need to show south america only this part even you show it is enough then giving one hint to the examiner that uh, this uh, uneven distribution has made this crude oil is strategic in nature anything that is uneven less in supply become strategic just like china ne monopoly kar li hai uh, rare earth mineral mein to countries uski aur jhuk chuke hai rare earth lene ke liye similarly uh, bahut se countries gulf countries ne russia ne isko strategic bana diya hai ke strategic uh, uh, sale bhi karte hain aur apni condition bhi laate hain that we call cartelization monopoly cartelization it is not energy crisis uh, that is very uh, one part but we can say the kind of implication cartelization or monopoly of few countries and they made one group even opec organization of petroleum exporting countries including gulf countries and country like nigeria venezuela but nowadays one more term opec plus including russia as well russia also has become that and they purposefully time to time reducing the supply so that some countries which are not having the crude oil as a demand distribution like india like many more countries those co can't have that kind of surplus uh, and they are bound to purchase at high cost so we have seen that time to time opec plus uh, or even in the past one opec group uh, they increase their prices by cutting down the supply so we can say that cartelization monopoly but uh, that is one part another implication if i talk about uh, here implication geopolitical implication geopolitical geopolitics of uh, crude oil is uh, one of the best defined geopolitics if you see that since the gulf countries or persian gulf area like saudi arabia like iran era crude oil wealth got discovered the geopolitics got changed and we have seen that usa uk they tried their best to come to that area to get the crude oil because these the countries earlier the desert countries and poor countries and uh, as uh, in 1920 the crude oil discovery in that area in persian gulf area then geopolitics around persian gulf got changed forever and we have seen some negative implication of that that is quite dangerous for several countries even for these countries persian gulf area so centrality of geopolitics towards this you can say centrality you can say in several ways what america and uk did you can say uk usa several european countries here once they realize that this crude oil is very much required to fuel their automobile industries and many more industries and the basic energy source then they have sent these mnc's to control that so these countries actually purposefully made their puppets the monarch of these countries rather than democracy as in other countries purposefully in that area we have seen those people could act like a puppet of the developed countries and accordingly doing their job they would be ruler here rather than democratic or from the public so we have seen that through uk usa and number of european countries in these countries in persian gulf area several monarchs you can say still monarchy rajshahi family and the people of that area having the suffocation and this monarchy is uh, uh, you can say not having the ability to see the larger dimensions and then their kind of policies are dividing the people here then we are observing civil wars in these countries through suffocation yemen saudi arabia civil war also we are observing even the religious differences have come they are unable to see the larger context and small you can say their motives are they are only to remain in power so you can say iran and iraq you can say even kabhi kabhi fully badi war bhi hui hai iraq kuwait war in the past to get the crude oil reserve then iraq has attacked on kuwait later on usa also got an opportunity 
to show the fear of Saddam Hussein. Then we have seen the wars, uh, you can say Iran-Iraq war, Iran-Kuwait war, Iraq-Kuwait war, and still several civil war, you can say Yemen, Saudi Arabia, also divisions, Qatar, Iran, Kya, Saudi Arabia is a division eh, like that. So we are observing this entire area has become quite uh, volatile. Even one country, Israel, that is also a good ally of the US and UK, is uh, having issues in that region. Entire area has become more an unstable area. No democracy in maximum countries and also more civil wars. Also, right, right, uh, in few decades back, we are observing terrorism also got increased. So we are observing even this uh, kind of policies of the monarchy led to the terrorism in that area. Terror organization, terror group also asserting of these resources. They feel that uh, the resources must be controlled and then they have come up like Boko Haram in Nigeria. A good example that outsiders are taking their wealth to the organization Boko Haram, trying their best to show that they are the real, you can say same with Al-Qaeda in Gulf countries and also many more organizations have come up. So we can say even the terror groups uh, having the kind of connectivity, the ways the uh, to get the crude oil of that area. So we may link monarchy, we may link civil war in the past some example, we may link the terror groups even or terrorism and even we can also notice uh, in recent times uh, that the kind of geopolitics uh, that uneven order a world order. We are observing despite uh, their uh, weaknesses and wrong policies or human rights violation, uh, number of countries are mum on that. So we can say that the world order also is uh, unjust world order we have seen in that area. They are mum on civil wars, they are mum on monarchy, they are mum on these policies uh, which are burning uh, this area plus impact is being seen all around the world we are observing. Even you can say uh, some routes like uh, Suez Canal Road, Persian Gulf Road uh, and these routes uh, now the competition who will get more share. China is also becoming one player. But China, we are observing now recognize the importance of this area. Then China is focusing on Arctic Shelf as well, in Persian Gulf as well through BRI. And also in South China Sea, also China considering. So we are observing the hegemony of China, Russia, and many more Gulf countries here. But one more angle is there of that pollution. Once we extract the crude oil in that area, like Arctic Shelf, it is polar area, sensitive area, ice uh, wala zone, hai. already climate change ka shikar ho raha hai. So, yaha par pollution bahut bad raha hai, oil spilling vagaira. So, we are observing the oil spilling. Dur daras ke area hai, far flung areas hai. And uh, we have to consider ki some oil spilling, uh, for example, and impact on biodiversity as well. Same with Persian Gulf as well, the crude oil impact, pollution that is enhancing. Similarly, other than pollution, environmental issues, even we can say that uh, some countries, if uh, not able to accept the uh, order of the USA and China, etc., then some countries got isolated like Venezuela, despite uh, crude oil rich country, the country that is not following the USA policy, then Venezuela may economic crisis. So, Venezuela economic crisis facing. Similarly, we have seen that trade deficit in India, inflation, trade deficit, those countries highly dependent upon these countries. So they have the trade deficit, they have the high level of inflation and burden on their uh, overall economy is uh, very much clear and ever increasing the fuel, fuel prices uh, as number of countries we are observing. So what we have to say that once you deal with that topic, then energy crisis uh, due to uneven distribution is only one dimension. But bigger dimension is geopolitics. That is uh, basically in the form of uh, indicated like uh, civil war. Like you can say the terror organization. 
लाइक मोनार की लाइक यू कैन से दाइंड ऑफ अनजस्ट वर्ल्ड ऑर्डर फेवरिंग डिस्पाइट नोइंग दैट प्रॉब्लम इन दैट रीजन ह्यूमन राइट वायलेशन इन दैट रीजन बट इवन दो दिस थिंग बड़ा अजीब सी बात है कि जहां भी क्रूड ऑयल है वो एरिया अनस्टेबल है सेंट्रल एशियन एरिया कैसपियन सी रीजन कजाकिस्तान में क्राइसिस यू कैन सी तो सेम इन गल्फ कंट्रीज द मोस्ट वॉलेटाइल एरिया वेनेजुला नाउ यू कैन से इकोनॉमिकली अनस्टेबल नाइजीरिया इज परफेक्ट एग्जाम्पल एयर सो इवन रशिया कॉन्टीन्यूसली यू कैन से नाटो रशिया क्राइसिस इन दैट जोन so we can say that the uneven distribution led to the problems of many kind especially related to the geopolitics or strategic aspects those having the economic political social cultural repercussions in the form of these problems and even we can say that uh, environmental issues like pollution and biodiversity issues of crude oil exploration and Uh, if we want to handle that thing so what should be the way out here in the last the way out uh, you would say that rather than crude oil dependence countries must try their best for mixed energy basket it is not you can say the single energy that would be good mixed energy basket concept to deal with the energy security besides getting the energy security this problem will also be sorted out a right message would be given to entire world that energy should not be single it should not be strategic no mineral no commodity should be strategic to influence the countries and their economy to a bigger scale and for that we need to use the ubiquitous or re uh, renewable energy sources plenty you can say available like one sun one one world one grid or you can say the solar alliance plenty of solar energy in several countries could be used wind energy the biomass energy and several other options ocean thermal energy we have to use ocean we have to use hydrogen mission so we can say renewable clean green energy that would be the better way energy security it will be give better competition and sabhi countries ke paas kuch na kuch solar hai kisi ke paas wind ka potential hoga kisi ke paas ocean ka potential hoga so they won't be dependent on only on the crude oil so we can say that mixing the energy through biofuel through hydrogen fuel through solar energy through wind energy through ocean thermal energy so that could be the way out that we call the mixed energy basket so these dimensions also you may mention so here i would say that respect the questions of the upsc and this this is telling us that so many dimensions are there do not confine the questions into two or three dimension it must be our habit to look for several aspects and with the particular example case study in the brief we can very we can substantiate our answer if any diagram any map in geography that would be wonderful and we can support with data that is also wonderful in conclusive remarks some pragmatic or positive note that is also good but i would say again that everybody has its own way own flair purpose is what that you must try to articulate yourself to your own ability but having the sincere approach having the honest effort you can say and you will see definitely whichever question is coming up uh, you may write in definitely in a good manner uh, than your uh, expected ways jab aapke jo approach hogi wo sahi hogi uske piche ka apne practice bhi ki hogi 